I had a phone call with Coach Roy, and he kind of had asked me, like, well, you know, what do you want to do? It wasn't even in my head that I wasn't going to try and get back from it. And I think once he asked me that, it kind of was like, oh, I have an option. But it really was never an option for me to not get another surgery and come back. It was just kind of like, okay, let's move forward. I think he knew that I had what it took to to come back from such like such an injury that takes time. So I think after that, it was just kind of like, okay, I'm on the road to recovery again. You know, we have this little saying, I talk to the team a lot, I'm, I'm sure other people have used it before, but uh, you know, we always say the journey is, is long, the journey is hard, but the journey is always worth it. And I think that in particular, when you have a kid going through rehab, like Lauren went through uh, both times, it is long, it is freaking hard. Uh, but it's worth it. At five years old, I started playing in a rec league. Watching my sister play growing up, I was always like the biggest fan. I went out to Philadelphia a few times to watch her play college, and it's just like seeing her at another level was was influencing too to to make me want to play like go that far. And then my dad was just always so supportive and he was my coach growing up. He coached every rec team I was on and every all-star team. Somewhere along the line in high school I realized that I really I didn't want to stop playing and I knew it had opportunities for me in the future to potentially get a scholarship and play in college. I got a call from Bill, our coach, and he basically told me everything good about the university. It's in the city. Our schedule is just like unreal. We're playing all the top teams in the nation in preseason. We knew of Lauren uh, in high school, saw her play, etc. but uh, we didn't recruit her. Uh, mistake number one. Uh, and she ended up going to, I believe it was New Mexico State for a year. And, um, things didn't work out too well for her there. And she kind of got back in touch with us a little bit. And uh, we were happy to, to talk to her and bring her in here. Going from the middle of nowhere to such a happening place was like so exciting for me. So um, I think just knowing that I was going to be playing on such a competitive team, but also able to enjoy my college experience was, was pretty, that did it for me, I think. We, we knew she, was, she could make contact with the ball. She's a contact hitter, she had a nice stroke, could run a little bit, could play some defense, could play a lot of different positions. So we knew there was a spot where she could fill in and help us in a lineup in the field somewhere. We really didn't have expectations to where that was gonna be or, or in what position it was gonna be. My first year here, a week before our first game, that year I was gonna play third base. So I was practicing high choppers at third and trying to land and throw as fast as we could and landed. I didn't know instantly if something happened, but I knew like something didn't feel right. And then found out uh, probably a week later that my ACL was torn. The second time I tore my ACL, I was in San Diego and I was coming back to New York the next day for our preseason and I was psyched because I was going to get to practice again and it was six months almost to the day. When I found out I tore it, I was seeing my physician at home. Initially, I. I was bummed, but I was kind of like, okay, I'm gonna get through this. Like, it was kind of like, okay, I, like, what's another hurdle? The second time, she already knew what was in front of her. Uh, the first time, you don't really know what's in front of you. The key for us there was to, to make sure that she was all in to want to get back a second time. Because if, if you're not all in with rehab, it's not gonna work. Once, once we realized she was all in, she wanted to get back on the field, um, uh, she's the kind of kid I have a lot of confidence in. I knew it was going to get done. You're doing anything you can to support the team when you can't play. So I was trying to, you know, help girls out here and there, like, you know, pump the team up, like anything I could do. So I still felt like I was a part of it. It means more to me now that, that I had that kind of impact on the team and that I was able to come back from two years and, and perform. She really appreciated being back on the field. Um, and really, you know, didn't take for granted the fact that she was playing again. Uh, and every minute she was on there, you know, she's, she's, she knew how hard she worked. It meant something to her. She valued it. Uh, and she enjoys the game now so much more because she realized it could be taken away from you at any minute. So um, she had the right attitude with the whole thing. And to know that I could just kind of like come back and play softball again to 
to the you know top level of my game was pretty fulfilling. And Marizzi skies this one to left field. This should get the run in. It's fair ball. It's into the corner. He'd like to add another RBI. And this is through the middle base hit. Around coming home. Here comes the play at the plate and sliding in safely is Whitney West. And Lauren Marizzi gives herself another RBI. That's number 13 on the season. And LIU now leads it four to nothing. In her practice habits, her academic habits, uh, her approach to the game, her approach to getting better, uh, her approach to staying emotionally balanced and her thought process and internalizing things properly. She's a professional. You want to leave like a footprint in um, where you've come through and I think having having a ink footprint on this program for like, you know, how many years I've been here is, it means a lot. You rarely get a, get a chance to coach a kid that's got that kind of package, um, both on and off the field. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity when you get kids like that. And, and I'm not trying to you know, put anybody else behind her, but I realize how special he is and how lucky I am to have a chance to coach, coach Lauren. I think knowing that I'm making history, or at least like being a part of the history that LIU has had, that in itself is, Means means a lot to me. 